So good day and greetings and welcome to Tuesday, March the 15th, 2022. Right now I'm on Route 12 South here in Hammond, New York. Taking a pause for the cause at this little rest area here. That there is the St. Lawrence River. Across the river that is Canada. So I can take a moment to say hello to my Canadian friends. How's it going, eh? Had a pretty decent day so far. And uh, it's pretty peaceful up here. Very peaceful. This auto light detection thing is killing me with this phone. But anyway, had the big two stop delivery today in Potsdam and Messina, and there's nothing to pick up up here in the North Country. So I'm rolling back to Syracuse with my empty trailer. Uh, I took last Friday and this Monday off. Took a little road trip down to North Carolina, which I did take video. I just haven't had a chance to edit it. Had to take care of uh, some uh, business, which I'll, I'll discuss in a uh, in a moment here. But uh, right now I'm going to end this pause for the cause and uh, head back to Syracuse and uh, end my day. Eh? Five, four, three, two, uno. That didn't sound too good. It's still a good sound, but not as good as the older trucks. But anyway, back here in Syracuse, had a little issue with the fifth wheel, which has been a reoccurring issue. And uh, this would be the third time that we've had to call road service out to come release the fifth wheel so I could drop a trailer. So tomorrow, I believe I'm taking the truck down to HQ to uh, get the problem addressed and taken care of because uh, it shouldn't take three people with two pry bars and a fifth wheel puller to release the fifth wheel. That's all I got to say about that right now. Plus, the PM is overdue from last week. So uh, to make a long story short, a short story long about my trip to North Carolina over the past weekend. Last summer, my ex-wife's boyfriend gave my son a dog, which uh, when my son first asked me about the dog, I told him that it would be a big responsibility. He said he understood. He said that he would take full care of the dog. He would be fully responsible for it. And against my better judgment, I agreed. I really wasn't looking to get a pet at the time because I have a small one-bedroom apartment. And with the two of us living in there, things are kind of tight, kind of cramped. Even though I was thinking about getting a cat at that time. But uh, he asked about the dog, and it's a small dog, and I had met her before. So I figured, you know, what the heck, why not? Fast forward to seven months later, and uh, my son realized that there's more responsibility to having a dog than what he thought there was. He was a little overwhelmed and felt that he couldn't take the care that the dog needed anymore even though he was doing a pretty good job but teenagers um, so we decided to rehome Miss Star who uh, has been in a couple of my videos I even thought of ways that we could keep her however I don't think it would be fair to her because uh, when he went to his mom's house he took the dog with him so she could, when she went over there she could run in the backyard freely and then when she came over to my place uh, when she went outside, she had to be on a leash or tied up to the porch so that she wouldn't take off, which isn't really fair to her. So uh, uh, we put it out there to rehome her, and a friend of mine in North Carolina has taken her. And uh, my friend has a big backyard and a couple other small dogs, and she's free to go in and out of the house as she pleases because it's a fenced-in backyard. And I think all in all, it will be a better situation for Miss Starr. So sadly, we have rehomed Miss Starr to North Carolina. Um, I know she's in a good place. She has a good home. But it uh, does stink. I've always believed that when you have a pet that is a part of the family and you just don't give up on her. But uh, in this situation, it was better for her to go somewhere else where she can get the attention and the care that she needs. Not that we couldn't pay attention or take care of her but uh, I think she's in a better situation where she's at so I'm just gonna leave it at that but uh I'm done for the day I'm going to make like a sheep herder and get the flock out of here 
catch y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Hey, eh? I'm out of here.